Okay, this is a short video to show how I uh, I uh, programmed the Alizes Vortex to work with uh, Logic Pro, and so basically I'm going to go to the procedure. First, you have to uh, to start Logic Pro, and uh, I'm just creating an empty project, so I just choose a random project and empty, and it creates uh, my little screen. And usually it asks you if you want to add a track and uh, make sure you, that you add a software instrument. Well, in my case, because I'm doing software instrument. So I do create and I have a track. By default, my setup chooses the EVP88 electric piano. So this is the sound. And uh, I'm going to use what is called the uh, channel strip feature. So if you go on the instrument name here, you could do it in a mixer. I'm doing it in the, uh, in, in the inspector here. So I go and click on the instrument name and just leave. You have to press like one or two seconds with, with the mouse button. And this is the key here. Save as performance. This is the feature that we're going to use. So save as performance. We'll open this window and it has the instrument name, so in my case, the EVP electric piano. I could change it if I want. You can type over this. And the program number, this is the important part. It could be anything, uh, any number. Uh, because I'm doing it for the first time, it has program number zero. In your case, it could be something else. It might be zero if you do it. It's any value. This is what, this is the program change that you're going to have to send to choose this instrument. So it's zero. Keep that in mind. I click OK. And I'm going to choose another instrument. So I'm going to go to my instrument library and choose another instrument. So let's say um, I'm going to choose the, well, let me choose a keyboard then, another keyboard, an organ, and a classic blues organ. Okay, so any instrument will do. <clears throat> so now you can see here it says classic blues organ, same as here, this is the sound. So I'm going to do the uh, performance part again. So I click here and I choose save as performance and see the number increase automatically. So now it says one and I click OK. And basically I'm done in Logic Pro. So I'm leaving Logic Pro open for now and I'm going to start the program called Visex Vortex. And this is, I, I could program the pad manually, uh, but uh, since uh, uh, Elises was nice enough to come out with some nice software to pro help program it, uh, this is what I'm using. So basically the software now is reading the parameters from, from the vortex and it's going to come back and this is, this is the main screen. And I could program anything I want. So now I want to program pads and because I did it once, uh, you can see that these are the patches stored in my vortex. Uh, as, as you can see, there's one that's already named. If I click on this one, uh, it's called Synpop. I already named it. You could give it a name if you want. And the important part is what we're going to do next. We're going to program the pads, one and two, to switch between the two instruments that we have programmed in Logic Pro. So. What you have to do is click on the first pad and choose the mode. Mode has to be program change because we want to send a MIDI program change to Logic Pro. So program change. And the program change number, remember what it was for the EVP88? It was zero. By default, it was zero in my case. So zero. Leave the MSB and LSB at, at one and zero the, the, by the default values. And that's important to channel. MIDI channel has to be one because uh, Logic Pro will respond as it's set up now to channel one. Okay, so channel one. And then I, I do a similar procedure for the second pad. So I choose program change again. And this time I choose the other value for the organ was one. And the channel is one. So basically I'm done. And because I changed one of the parameter in the patch, you see this button here, store edited patch. I click that button and it sends the information to my Vortex. So my Vortex is now programmed. I don't need the programming software anymore. So I can close the Visex Vortex software. 
it'll ask me if I want to save the patch on my computer. I don't want this. This is just an example, but you could you could save it, of course, if you want. It's already saved in the vortex. It, it's asking me if I want to save this on my computer. So I don't save. And now if I play, okay, that's my organ. If I press pad number one, it's changing to DVP88. I can press pad two and it changes to so to my organ. So when you play, you can just switch from one instrument to the other. And that's it. I hope this helps.